The motorbike business has been settled. We'll get a Royal Enfield Himalayan 400 cc. Smell, smell the spices, huh? Eh? Yeah. Look, look, look at the chilies. Later we'll pack up the bikes. First a stroll in our neighborhood, Hamel, and some other sites. I guess we'll find our way home. Yeah. All right. I think. Are you going back to the hotel? I go back. To We're going back to the hotel. See on the way some shops for souvenirs and stuff like that. Get some rupees and a walk in the garden of dreams. Field is waiting in the lobby of the hotel for the road trip to Chitwan National Park. The highway from west to east. And this is the better part of the road. Here we stop for lunch. We want typical Nepalese food. The taste is good. However, later an upset stomach changed our preferences. Pizza, bratwurst, mashed potatoes instead. The road is becoming worse, potholes and construction, heavy traffic. It's hard to take over, lethal riding at once. It's peaceful. Tranquility washes the stress of the day away. Hello. Chital is the name of the resort where we stay for visiting the national park. The Royal Enfield did a good job. These jungles make you quiet, not far away from the border with India. Chitwan National Park. The morning mist still above the water, while the rhino takes a bath. The deer, afraid to be the next meal for the tiger. This is the end of the wet season. Yeah, so this would be nice to, uh, to ride on.
water and floating on the water. Floating on the East Rapti River. Motorboats are not allowed here. Don't disturb the crocodiles. Back on the road again. Destination Okara. Starting point of the journey is Jitwan and we leave the national park behind us. The highway 5 and 4 cover the larger part of the route. Here we stop along the Ma Siangdi river. Not far from here is Anbu Kaireni. Police ready to act. Still a long distance to Pokhara and the Annapurna mountain range. The 100 kilometers ride took us six hours. Finally, the hotel in Pokhara. Hotel point offering a room with a view. A view indeed. Pokhara is surrounded by peaks of more than 7,000 or even 8,000 meters. It's very much a tourist destination with shops, travel agencies, in Western Asian and Indian restaurants. The nearby Lake Piwa, a highlight of the city. The lake is a favorite site for local tourists from Nepal and people from neighboring India. A Tibetan river is trying to sell gemstones. Meanwhile, the tourists enjoy the beautiful morning along the lake. The snow peaked mountains try to lure people to come nearer. A site to view the Himalaya is Sarangkot. A long stairway to reach the top is most rewarding. In the late afternoon, we will back at the lake, in time for a Hindu ceremony. We 
stay one more day in Pokhara just to enjoy the countryside. The long way home is coming eventually. Back in Kathmandu, we plan to go to the Sriyat Bunan Temple. The Suyatat Buna Temple is one of the oldest temples in Nepal. In the 5th century it had become already a pilgrim site. This site is called a monkey temple. The mythology tells us that a bodhisattva, a person with on the path of enlightenment, was living here. His hair grew long, causing head lice. It is said from every lice grew a monkey. This temple is a place for worship for Buddhists from Tibet and Nepal and also for Hindus. Again in the taxi and again in the heavy traffic. Now on the way to the airport. There's Miss Nepal. <laughs> 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 